hello Minecrafters. Welcome to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. Awesome. So today I am going to try a new method of recording. Uh, should be interesting. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the world of Ithacaron. Um, I had some plans for it. Uh, the whole point of this was uh, to create a unique kind of world. Um, I was going to build kind of like NPC cities, so to speak, and uh, tie them together and whatnot. But uh, the, uh, the multiplayer server that we have running kind of took over. And yeah, this world I think has gotten a little bit neglected. So oh yeah, I was exploring, huh? I'm just going to dump this all in here. And yeah, and so this world is just completely neglected. Um, I know that we had big plans. <laughs> and we were going to do some stuff, but I don't know. I think time, it's time to move on, right? It's time to move on to bigger and better things. Uh, you know, I was going to do something with the NPC village in here. Uh, I was going to do more. <laughs> but for just for some reason, the the server chronicles has really catapulted. And it's, I don't know, I like it. It's, it's fun. Uh, I'm working on a large project in there now, actually. Which is kind of interesting. Um, I didn't expect the project to be that large. So I was shocked. I'll have to show that on one of my videos for that one. <laughs> um, there's also a few people playing on the server, so it's kind of nice to see that. It's good to see everybody back on there and you're playing regularly, building. So, yeah, it should be exciting. It should be interesting. Um, I have some plans there because I like to play Minecraft as well. I like to run around and fight stuff and you know, do other things. Uh, single player is okay, but I don't know. It's pretty uh, mellow. I prefer to play with other players. It's just more fun. Um, so yeah, so that means you know the YouTube videos will continue. Um, as far as you know, for this world, the world of Ithacron, yeah, no. Um, I will make a second season, I think, with 1.3 because uh, our server uses a lot of uh, plugins and I guess uh, they have to update, so, well, if they have to update, we'll see what happens with the 1.3 update. Uh, I I'm going to maintain uh, using 1.2.5 in the meantime uh, for the server, so for those of you who are playing on the server and are watching this make sure you you take a backup of everything uh, back up your minecraft directory um, because uh... actually let's take a look at the the tree farm but yeah but you know take a backup and then that way then at least you'll be able to play on the server still um, i took a backup so I'm good to rock and roll. Yeah, this is kind of a tree farm. There's a little bit of fail. Uh, it's not high enough here. So the trees can't quite grow. So they're, yeah. In the middle they grow no problem. It's the right height, but the sides. So that's where I learned that the height is important. And then these are just some cool boxes just for the saplings. I was expecting to do a lot of harvesting. Because <laughs> for the villager trading, right? So, yeah, see. So I did do quite a bit. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, this is a project of what I was going to try and work on. Uh, the other NPC village is down, you know, down a ways, right? Way, well, yeah, yeah, way down over there, I think. So, oh yeah, this is what was happening here. Basically, this is the the whole eat system. Uh, they, with the eats road so this is where you load it on uh, is there boats anywhere there should be a chest oh yes there is and yes there are boats let's see if it works 
So you just basically, uh, maybe not there. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> okay. Uh, you'd put the boat. Ah, oh, that's right. You'd put the boat on. It would load in. Simple. It would sit there, and you could load in. Push the button. Voila! Off we go. Yeah, so it works. It wasn't a hundred percent. So what this eats was gonna do is it was gonna go this way. It's gonna have a turn. Um, I was trying to figure that out, so I started to uh, dig this way, and I thought, oh, I need to check the the turn. So because you'll be hugging this road or the this road, this side of the wall. Um, probably make it you know one or two more out and have the water kind of angle and turn and that way you'll hug a wall here and then you'll speed down that way to the next destination with glass out the side to look out the side yeah that might work so yeah I was gonna build the eats but I guess I didn't uh, for those of you who don't know what eats means, that just means was it ethos? Oh, I, even I can't remember. Um, was it ethos something transport system? <laughs> don't know what the A stands for. Eats, yeah. Anyways, that was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to figure out the physics and the dynamics and using the science to push them down. And look at this, we have a golem. Hello, my friend. Huh. I'm surprised. I, I'm surprised. So these are growing quite well. So these, the structure that I built, um, worked quite well. And that's a roof access up there. That was kind of fun to build that. Uh, let's see what else here. Yeah, kind of the wall. The wall was a big project, and I don't know. Might have failed on that one a bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is access. There's access in here. And the sheep escaped. And look at this. What are you guys doing? Oh wow. Wow. Wow, so I am glitched inside here. So there must be villagers galore. Okay, why can't I go up there? Huh. That sucks. I had to kill some villagers there. So now I know There's something wrong with this. Oh yeah, I put dirt up there. Ah, because I didn't want them going out. That's right. That's right. So what we'll do, we'll seal it off, but, okay. All the stuff you learn, it's just so interesting. Minecraft is like that. So this, this is going to be a platform that you could run along on. And basically, it would be something you do this. Uh, maybe, I don't know. You'd have to get used to the dimensions, but you'd run along. Oh, I'm running on the building now. You'd run along. And you know, at night, creatures would spawn. And then you'd be able to you know, hop down and fight them. So that was kind of the idea. That's the nether there. Yeah, we haven't really done the, uh, you know, the nether. Haven't really found any kind of fortresses or any of that fun stuff. It would have been neat to have the blaze rods to do the brewing, but yeah. This is a different project in itself. This was the town hall I was going to build with more doors and whatnot. Kind of more of my structure, my base, my outside base. But yeah, no, that didn't happen. 
Oh well. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens with 1.3. I know some people might want me to you keep this and keep going with it, but I don't know. Whatever it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I like Minecraft, so I can play it anyway. I can start all over and it doesn't bother me. Because this is all on YouTube, so um, you know, I can see it again if I wanted to see it, but yeah. No, all is good. So yeah, so I don't know. Um, I have been playing with on this one as I mentioned. Uh, I'm playing mostly on my server, so I'll be making uh, more YouTube videos of the server with other people on the server. So it should be good, should be good. And yeah, and so I hope you all have an excellent Minecraft day. Um, thank you all for you know, subscribing. Uh, thank you for watching this. Um, it's been a good time. It's been a good uh, short series uh, for this one. But the, the Server Chronicles should keep on going. Um, I like that one a lot. It keeps it makes the game fresh and different so so I'll keep playing that um, I also have some projects planned for that um, all the projects are done legitimately they're all done uh, with harvesting and everything you, even though I can have like a creative mode and simply place the blocks uh, everything's harvested and everything is done you know legitly basically because I think that's still what or needs to happen is we still need to build properly <laughs> as if it was a, a survival mode so there are some mods on there just so that way it makes it interesting and, uh, such as when you kill mobs you get some uh, some money and then with that money you'll be able to use it to repair like your equipment or whatnot and it's as simple as going to the sign that says repair your diamond armor or your diamond weapons and you right click on it and voila it'll take the money out of your account and it repairs your equipment enchantments and all so it's pretty cool pretty cool so if you have a cool sword with a cool enchantment yeah we can repair it so you know just little things and you you like that just a little there's a um, I have a catacomb plug-in on it so that way then that's for like dungeon crawling um, I was gonna set up a a specific world for that so then that way it can unload itself if there's nobody around uh, but yeah um, but thank you all you all have a great minecraft day and i'll see you again in the server chronicles <laughs>